I'm here from GI Tactical in uh, Virginia, and here here today I'm talking about the Classic Army VMS mags that they recently came out with. Now these magazines are basically high capacity magazines that hold about 330 rounds each, and they come in two different packs. So they come in a six pack, so you can save a bit of money buying a bulk set of magazines. Uh, there's six of these magazines in this greenish box, um, and they are fluorescent yellow. Uh, with a black body on it, so basically the top of the mag itself is going to be yellow, so it's going to make it a lot easier to spot your mags, as well as sort of find it if you happen to drop it. They also come in single packs as well, so if you want to test one out before you actually try to purchase one of the mags, uh, they come with the single packs as well. They also come with a black top instead of the yellow top. Um, so either of these options are really nice, but today we're here to talk about the fitment of these in these actual rifles. So I'm going to actually going to test these in 10 different rifles. Now these 10 rifles are going to be really, really popular rifles among either beginner or the leader, elite communities right now. So I'm going to test these mags out right now. So basically the first mag we're going to test these out in is the Lancer Tactical LT Gen 2. So for the most part these mags fit pretty decently. Uh, they're a bit snug and they don't drop freely. But they do fit and they do feed inside of these, so that's pretty nice of that. Next is the GNG Comm Machine, fairly standard beginner gun, pretty much the end all to be all guns. And as you can see, they fit, they feed, and they drop out fairly freely. The next one is the Classic Army Skirmish Rifle. This is a new ML10 that we recently acquired, uh, M lock rail, and all that. And they feed just as fine because these are Classic Army mags, so Classic Army bodies typically have no problems accepting these mags. Next is the ICS PAR MK3. This is one of my favorite rifles, but unfortunately, they don't fit that well until you really push them in. And they don't release freely, but they do fit and they do feed, so that's one pro. <clears throat> Next gun is gonna be the Ares Amoeba Gen 5 Octa Arms rifle. And these rifles, they have a really hard time actually getting in. And they won't actually seat in until you actually press the mag release. So you might actually need to shave down your mag release just a slight bit to actually get them to fit inside. And they do require a lot of effort to actually pull out. The next rifle here we have is the VFC Avalons. Now these will fit pretty much with no problem and they'll fit for you just fine. They pretty much just fit like any other M4 mags. You won't need to pull it out to actually release it. Next gun is our Airsoft GI Lonex custom build. Um, this gun right here is basically just an Airsoft GI metal body with a Lonex all internals and it fits, fits and feeds just fine. There is a little bit of issue for tension however so it won't, may not be the best choice for this gun. So it may not be the best choice for a Lonex custom N4. The Crytac LVOA, Crytac body, so all the Crytacs are have the same lower receivers and they fit feed just fine, just like that. They release just fine. The Classic Army Nemesis, one of the Classic Army's highest performing rifles and one of the top tier rifles in, in terms of out-of-the-box um, out the performance. They fit very easily. These fit actually almost amazingly. They fit and they drop out just fine, just like that. And lastly, we have the H&K VFC 416C, one of the most popular airsoft rifles on the market for a lot of people. And unfortunately, like a lot of these mag styles with the extended um, outer portion, they, not, they do not fit well because this is blocky. So unfortunately for 416C users or 416C uh, guns in general, you're going to need to do some modification in some way to make these fit, unfortunately. So that's just 10 guns. You know, We didn't cover everything, but we covered a majority of guns that a lot of people are going to be getting into, a lot of people have. Um, Hope that answers some of your questions about VMS mag compatibility. Let us know if you have any questions about these mags in general. You can find these on our website, airsoftgi.com or gitactical.com. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.